Yes. The machine doesn't really care about what material they're cutting. It's all in the geometry of the inserts that you're using and the cutters. Uh, our machines, we have 10 horsepower on the main and sub. We also offer three horsepower on the cross mill units, which nobody else offers. That is interesting. One and a half horsepower is about the highest you're going to see on the competition's machines. Welcome back to MTD CNC. We do appreciate you. This is my friend Ken, and as you can see, this is Hanwha. Swiss machining is one of my favorite topics, and I always like to learn a little bit of history before we go into the details of what can be made, what industries it can be made in, and where does it excel in the world of Swiss machining, and that's why I have Ken with me today. So Ken, let's first talk a, lo a little bit of the history of Hanwha. Hanwha Corporation started in 1952 in the explosives industry, and then they built their first CNC machine in 1977. Hold on, I'm going to need a minute to hear about this explosive sides, but only just in a few seconds. What's that about? I wish I knew more because I'm a guy that loves anything that goes bang. Right? <laughs> yeah. Google for me and put it in the comments, please. Now let's move into the Swiss machining side. Now, there's a group of people out there that are learning about manufacturing and always want to know where can machines be applied and where can they best be used. Now, you and I both know Swiss machining can be used everywhere. Yes. And Hanwha is a staple in Swiss machining. Yep. But would you mind elaborating on that a little bit? Well, pretty much anything that you can fit. Our machines go up to 45 millimeters. So anything that you can fit in that material, the bar stock, whether it's round, square, hexagonal, whatever, you can put it in these machines and make it. Occasionally I hear, Ken, where someone will tell me it just doesn't have the power, it doesn't have the strength for harder materials, for heavier cuts. That's not the case here. You've already shown me, which we're going to show the audience as well, some really difficult material. So we have power here. Yes. Machine doesn't really care about what material they're cutting. It's all in the geometry of the inserts that you're using and the cutters. Uh, our machines, we have 10 horsepower on the main and sub. We also offer three horsepower on the cross mill units, which nobody else offers. That is interesting. One and a half horsepower is about the highest you're going to see on the competition's machines. So we can take some really heavy cuts. Uh, we also make some special cartridges that go up in the cross mill that will hold half inch or three quarter inch jank cutters. So we, we've run one inch diameter Iskar cutters in there, insertable cutters, and taken eighth inch cuts on a part at a time. You won't be seeing any other, buddy, any other machine doing that. And no, and this is honestly the first I've heard of it as well, and I almost want to end the interview and walk off camera because that's a microphone <laughs> drop on its own, but we can't do that because there's more to learn. Let's talk about some of these parts, and since you've mentioned already heavy cutting, let's talk about this first one we see here. This is a support foot for machine support and adjustment, leveling. This is a one inch eight thread. Nobody in the industry can do that. We mount an F4 Fetty head next to the sub spindle. The, the threads take about eight to 10 seconds to make once the uh, major diameter is turned. We mill the hex on this, we mill the ball, cut it off, and eject it into the parts catcher. We love stories that nobody else can do. That's so right. remember that, and that's what Ken that's is right. here for. Now, me personally, I am a big fan of talking about subjects that help people. Okay. When I think about the doctors, when I think about the dentists, when I think about what we do as a manufacturing service to help everyone around the world, which is why we've grabbed a couple of other components. This yep. one, firstly, comes from the medical field, right? Correct. This is, this is a component that goes into a blood centrifuge. It takes a 90-minute cycle time. The guy gets roughly $1,500 a part. He cuts six of them and goes home. Uh, that sounds good. I, how, how, I'll take three of these machines right now, yeah, yeah. and uh, we'll be good to go. So this one is actually in the dental world, right? Correct. That's a dental implant. And We uh, do a lot of dental industry stuff, medical industry, just every industry. So we've talked about, and, and I like these subjects of where we can be of service, all the industries. We have a great construction to allow us to cut heavy. We've showcased a little bit of the history. Now, if there's a world out there, which I know there is, of people who are deeply into Swiss machining, what are some of the highlights? And I know we've talked about some of it already, Power. but as a, as a general rule, not specifically on this machine, but working with you, working with JBM, and working mm -hmm. with Hanwha, where can you guys stand out for the audience that's watching and go, I think I'm now going to invest? We, we build a rock solid machine. Anybody that owns them say they just run. That's huge. And we all know not everybody takes care of their machines very well. We've got 20 year old machines out there still cutting at two tenths tolerance. Mm. So, and a lot of that is just the structure of the machine. One big thing I like to point out, not only about the horsepower, but the support. Our machines are built tank strong. We're supported all the way to the floor under the sub spindle, which is huge. It's, it's good for the finishes and also for 
the stability of the machine. Weight-wise, we're very heavy as far as a Swiss. This machine here is a 14,000-pound Swiss machine. Wow. So I immediately, and the, and the audience at this point is like, oh, gosh, he's going to sing again. But I did hear <laughs> one time it's all about that bass. And yep, you have the is. bass and the construction, and that matters yes. because that's what adds to you said 20 years or more right. with that tolerance and precision Correct. still being there. Correct. It comes from the base up. Right. The, the, the whole structure of the machine for finishes and support, you just can't beat it. Nicely said. If you have questions, if you'd like to talk to Ken, if you'd like to talk to JBM, give them a call. Leave it in the comments with me, and I'll make sure Ken gets it as well. Thank you. I do appreciate it. You are a good man, a thank gentleman, and thank a you. scholar, and thank you all for watching.